everybody, it's Kathy. I'm gonna give you some ideas to do a foam rolling workout using your straps, okay? I love this workout, so just think control breathing. I may make it look a little easier than it might be, but you can play with it, okay? All right, so I'm facing to my fixed point. I'm gonna grab onto my straps. I'm grabbing on a little higher to them. Okay, I'm sitting nice and tall. I'm on the very edge of the foam roller, right? Make sure it's nice and even. Good. Take an inhale breath. On the exhale, I'm just going to do a pelvic tilt. Inhale, lengthen. Okay? Exhale, pelvic tilt. Inhale, lengthen. I'm going to roll down here. Okay, rolling down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then there's one. All right, blowing out that candle. I'm going to do three of these just for time's sake. But I want you to do like eight to ten of these, right? Rolling down, rolling down, rolling down, in. Exhale, I'll show you one more. This will guide you down. In. Exhale, you roll down, 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 in. And on the last one, I'm going to get rid of this band, and we're going to try to see if we can do it without the band. Okay? Take an inhale. It's a lot harder without the band, I'm just warning you. All right, I'm going to reach back, inhale, and exhale, blowing out that candle, curling up, 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 hopefully I'm going to make it a little easy, and exhale, roll down, a lot of control, and then I open up, and exhale, blow out that candle, so you're going to get the feeling of this, I'm going to do one more, and Exhale, low down. Of course, you can do more of them. And you can stay with that band too if this is too much. Okay, so my shoulders are here. I'm gonna pull my shoulder blades away. And then I'm gonna pull them into retraction. Inhale. And exhale. As I'm doing this, I'm trying to just embrace my natural curve. I've got a small little space under my lower back. I'm not tucked under here. I'm neutral. Inhale. And exhale. Good. One more like this. Inhale. And exhale, and then I'm just going to do this nice, luxurious stretch, and bring it in. Exhale, press out, and in, and reach, and in. And I would love it if you guys, again, for time's sake, I'm not going to stay here, but you can even just focus on staying here, right? And then I'm going to switch this way, and you'll notice I'm not arching my back as I'm doing any of these. I'm not going like that. I'm drawing my rib cage down. Maintaining neutral. And there. Good. So a little scapular mobility exercise. Last one here. Big stretch. Oh, maybe I will arch back there. I'm going to reconnect my rib cage down. And then I'm going to roll. Woo. Up, up, up. Try that. It's more difficult than I make it look here. Okay. Now, facing this way, here's where we're going to do some fun things connected with these bands. Okay. So I move this in a little bit more because I know I need it in a little bit more. Here. Okay. And then I'm going to come down here. Take your time, make sure this is square. And then I'm gonna grab onto these straps, okay? Now, with these straps, again, I'm trying to find neutral. Okay, my knees are bent. Okay, I'm take an inhale. And on the exhale, I'm gonna be able to do a nice big inhale release, okay? So you know we have that sensation of pressing down. Again, I'm not tucking my pelvis under. I'm just keeping it lengthened. Good, neck is long, exhale. And you can play around, like I definitely could have been further away from here if I wanted to. Exhale down. Okay, now keep your fingertips down, okay, for a second. Lift them one leg, okay? Put it like here. Take an inhale. On the exhale, you're gonna tap down. Woo, so I'm already tilting a little bit. Exhale, tap down. So I'm not gonna tilt again because I'm gonna be more aware of my balance. Good, you're gonna find this quite challenging. Three more, three. And again, eight to 10 of these, right? Let's switch the other leg, right? So you guys get the feeling of this, right? In, exhale, you tap down. And I'm gonna go three to four of these. Exhale, tap down. And I've gotta really focus on my core here. Very last one, exhale. Now put both legs down here, and I'm gonna take one, now I'm gonna put my hand down here so I can like uh, balance, right? 
And then I'm going to take one foot. So I'm going to take my left foot. I'm going to put my left hand down so I can balance. Put it in the strap. That might be a workout in its own. Okay? I have my left hand down. You can't see, but I do have it down. And I have my right hand here. Okay? Take an inhale. And on the exhale, you're going to out. Okay? We'll do like eight to ten of these with my knee bend. Exhale. And I hopefully you're, I hope you have a good outfit so you can see that I'm not arching my back, but I'm not doing a posterior pelvic tilt either. In. Okay? Exhale down. Okay, now I'm going to focus on lengthening this leg up. Right? So I'm going to do this press down. As I come up, I'm going to keep my tricep right here. Exhale, press down. Now you'll find when you do this, it adds a complexity to our obliques. Good. Full more. Four. And again, you can do a lot of these, right? A lot more than I'm going to show you. Good. You get the idea of that, right? Okay, now, arm is going to reach up. I'm going to reach it down with my leg, out to the side with my leg, and in. Exhale down. In and around. You got that feeling? Exhale down. So I'm keeping lumbar pelvic stability. Exhale down. In and around. Do the reverse of it. I go out, in and around. So I'm doing that little single leg to leg circle. Woo! Don't chew gum while you're doing this. You'll definitely kill yourself. Out. It's a very complex movement. In. One more. Exhale. Out. In. Let's try it on the other side. Okay? That could have been my good side. Actually, it was my bad side. <laughs> I know. Because my left leg is always my bad leg. Okay. So here we go. So you see, I have a little stability here in my hand. But I'm trying to go light. Like, I'm actually trying to not use it. Okay? So my knees bent, my elbows straight. I'm going to do that toe tap. And when you get really good at this, what you do is you don't use this hand, right? I might even want to put this hand on my pelvis here. Exhale. You might be like, no way, Kathy. Exhale. Okay, we got that? Good. Inhale, arm is going to be straight. Leg is going to go straight. Exhale. As I press down, that leg goes down. But then I'm just going to bend my elbow, right? Exhale, press. Okay, see I'm shredding very lightly. You're not even using this. Exhale. That's advanced. Good. Three. Exhale. Two. Very last one. Okay, now, right, and again, I would do more than that, but I don't want to make this video too long. You're going to go down, out, in, and around. Woo! Down. Again, I'm trying not to use this hand. Woo! I'm going to try my bestest. That's all we can ask. Two. Out, in, and around. Very last one. Good. Ah! Okay, now I reverse it out. I might have to use that hand, right? Exhale, two. In and around. Exhale, three, maybe. <laughs> oh, good. It's not a perfect video because it's hard. Okay, now, bring this foot down, right? That way you can stabilize and you can put that hand in here. I mean, that, so now you have both feet, okay? And if you did that, congratulations. Okay, now, tread it very lightly. We're going to do that. And in. I love this workout because it really makes me focus on the essence of this, which is lumbo pelvic stability. And in, okay? So maybe you can even focus on putting your pinky there. Okay, you can do it. Or you could be holding on for dear life. If you breathe, You'll get your balance on the right muscles. But let's go heels together, toes apart, in. Exhale, press out. Maintaining neutral pelvis is my goal. It also makes me open up my shoulders and neck to neutral. Good, two more. Two. And then, very last one. Okay, you know where I'm going with this, right? Internal footwork. And it just gives your back a nice massage the whole time I'm doing this. Trying to get that the rhomboids to loosen. Good. One more like this. Okay. It's going to be hard. Okay. I'm no lie. I'm going to come up. Stretch. Out. In and around. Right? Actually, I think this one is a 
easier to balance than the one we did before. Now you, if you feel your back really arching when you're doing this, you'll know, you'll get a better proprioceptive using the foam roller, right? Out, in, and around. Uh, let's do the reverse of it. Okay? so much.